here. Behind us. And the center there is, there's, it lurks a supermassive black hole, dining on any stars that wander too close. Disasters that afflict Earth and life on Earth. Volcanoes, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, disease, pestilence. The world of astronomy was recently shaken by a revelation from renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. In a stunning announcement, Tyson confirmed that Polaris, the North Star, the celestial fixture that has guided humanity for centuries, has just exploded. This extraordinary cosmic event marks a monumental shift not only in our understanding of stellar evolution, but in the way we perceive our own position in the cosmos. Polaris, the star that has long been a stable beacon in the night sky, is no longer what it once was. It has undergone a supernova, and something terrifying is unfolding in its aftermath. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Polaris, located roughly 433 light years away in the constellation Ursa Minor, has served as a critical point of navigation for explorers and travelers for thousands of years. It remained steady while the rest of the sky appeared to rotate around it due to Earth's axial tilt. For generations, it symbolized constancy and guidance. Now, with news of its cataclysmic explosion, that symbol of permanence has violently shattered. According to Tyson, astronomical instruments began detecting irregularities in Polaris's luminosity just weeks before the event, but no one could have anticipated such a swift and dramatic transformation. The explosion of Polaris isn't merely a matter of stargazing drama. A supernova is among the most powerful and energetic events in the universe. When a star like Polaris reaches the end of its life cycle, its core collapses, triggering a runaway fusion reaction that blasts its outer layers into space. The energy released in this explosion rivals that of an entire galaxy, outshining everything around it for a brief period. Such an event releases not only vast amounts of light, but also lethal radiation and highly energetic particles forming shock waves that ripple through surrounding space. The implications of Polaris's explosion are vast and complex. For one, the loss of such a prominent visual reference point upends centuries of navigational convention. While modern systems rely heavily on GPS, Polaris remained a fundamental fallback, a natural orientation guide for everything from ships to migratory birds. Its sudden disappearance from the sky will impact both technological and biological systems, for many species, Polaris provided an anchoring coordinate for nocturnal migration. Birds, insects, and even sea turtles may now experience profound disorientation, potentially triggering chain reactions in ecosystems far removed from the night sky. On a scientific front, the event is opening an unprecedented window into real-time supernova observation. While many stars have gone supernova in distant galaxies, their light reaching us often centuries or millennia after the event, Polaris was practically in our celestial backyard. Its proximity allows astronomers to study the mechanics of a supernova with a clarity never before possible. Instruments around the globe and in orbit are now zeroed in on the remnants of the explosion, capturing data on light curves, radiation levels, particle emissions, and gravitational wave patterns. Tyson's revelation included the startling detail that Polaris's explosion was not clean or symmetrical. Initial readings indicate that the supernova produced an anomalous spike in neutrino emissions, particles so elusive that trillions pass through us every second without interaction. This spike was followed by erratic bursts of gamma radiation, unlike any previously recorded from a supernova event. These erratic emissions suggest the formation of either a rapidly rotating neutron star or, more unsettlingly, the birth of a black hole. If Polaris has indeed collapsed into a black hole, that changes everything. Not only would this mark one of the closest black holes to Earth, but the consequences of its gravitational and energetic disturbances could extend far beyond what we currently understand. Although a black hole from 433 light years away would not immediately pose a direct threat to Earth, its energetic outflows and interactions with the interstellar medium could send waves through the structure of local space. It's not just a new astronomical object, it could be a harbinger of more dynamic changes within our galactic neighborhood. Adding to the concern is a strange pulsating anomaly in the radio frequencies being detected from the region. The signals are rhythmic, almost mechanical in their pattern, and they're increasing in frequency and intensity. 
While some scientists propose a natural explanation, such as magnetar activity or oscillating gas clouds, others aren't so quick to dismiss the possibility that something more exotic is at play. Tyson hinted at these frequencies during his announcement, describing them as deeply unsettling. Whether they are natural byproducts of the explosion or indicators of an entirely new astrophysical phenomenon remains to be seen, but their growing presence cannot be ignored. This explosion also serves as a harsh reminder of our vulnerability in the universe. Polaris was a massive star nearing the end of its life, and despite extensive astronomical observation, its final moments still caught scientists off guard. This raises uncomfortable questions about the thousands of other stars in our vicinity that may be nearing similar fates. Are there other ticking stellar time bombs in our cosmic neighborhood? If Polaris could go from stable to supernova so quickly, perhaps others could too, and the safety margin of hundreds or thousands of years we often assume may not hold. The terrifying part isn't just the death of the star, but what it may set in motion. Supernovae are known to trigger the birth of new stars by compressing nearby gas clouds, but they can also sterilize entire regions of space with their radiation. Polaris's explosion could be reshaping the very architecture of the local bubble, the cavity in the interstellar medium in which our solar system resides. The shockwave emanating from the event could eventually reach other star systems, perhaps even ours, depending on how it's deflected and absorbed by the interstellar material. There is also the potential issue of cosmic rays. Supernovae are known to generate immense quantities of these high-energy particles, and some of them are already being detected by Earth-based observatories. While our planet's magnetic field and atmosphere provide robust protection, sustained or intensified cosmic ray exposure can pose long-term risks to both technology and biology. Satellites, astronauts, and even electronics on Earth could be vulnerable if Polaris's explosion injects a significant stream of these particles into our region of space. Perhaps most chilling is the psychological impact of the event. For millennia, Polaris represented a cosmic anchor, a fixed point of reference amidst the ever-changing sky. Its presence was reassuring, a reminder that some things at least were eternal. Now that anchor has been ripped from the heavens in a violent blaze, the sky will never look the same again. In its absence, there's a growing sense of existential fragility, a recognition that even the most constant parts of our universe are subject to the same entropy and impermanence as everything else. Cultural and historical interpretations of Polaris only deepen the emotional weight of its demise. Ancient civilizations saw it as the Axis Mundi, the center of the world around which everything revolved. It was a divine compass, a spiritual sentinel watching over Earth. Its destruction may not only disturb modern science, but also ripple through the cultural consciousness of humanity, eroding yet another link between the mythic and the astronomical. And then there's the deeper, more speculative fear that Tyson alluded to briefly, the possibility that the event was not entirely natural. While there is no solid evidence to support this, some fringe theorists and increasingly anxious researchers are considering whether the anomalous radiation patterns, pulsing signals, and the unusual structure of the explosion might point to external manipulation. Could it have been artificially triggered? Could some unknown force or intelligence have interacted with Polaris in a way we do not yet understand? While mainstream science maintains a cautious distance from such ideas, the fact that they're even being discussed in serious forums is itself telling. As the world watches Polaris fade from the sky, the scientific community finds itself on the edge of a discovery that could reshape humanity's place in the cosmos. Tyson's announcement was not just a notification. It was a clarion call signaling that something has changed and we may not fully grasp the scope of it for years to come. The shockwave of knowledge, like the physical shockwave from Polaris's death, is still radiating outward. The coming months and years will see a flurry of observation and investigation. Space telescopes are already reorienting to monitor the expanding cloud of stellar debris. Radio observatories are trying to triangulate the source of the rhythmic anomalies. Particle detectors are watching for fluctuations that may provide further clues to what exactly happened in that star's final moment. Every scientific instrument humanity has is now trained on the void left behind, searching for meaning in the ashes of a once eternal star. Despite the fear and uncertainty, there is also awe. The destruction of Polaris is not just an end, but a beginning. 
a rare cosmic opportunity to witness creation and destruction at their most extreme. The star's death will give birth to new elements, enrich the interstellar medium and perhaps, in time, forge new stars and planets. But standing here now, under a sky missing its northern light, the first reaction is not one of inspiration, but of disquiet. There is a rawness to the moment, a visceral understanding that the universe is far more volatile than we allow ourselves to believe. That volatility, now manifested in the sudden death of Polaris, forces a new level of cosmic humility. For all our science, all our models, and all our theories, a star we thought we understood has surprised us in its dying breath. That surprise may yet hold discoveries of unimaginable magnitude or dangers beyond our readiness. The terrifying part isn't just that Polaris exploded, it's that it did so now. At this moment in history, with humanity on the cusp of interstellar exploration, the timing feels almost orchestrated, as if the universe itself were answering our ambition with a demonstration of its raw, indifferent power. Tyson's words echo like a warning. We are not spectators in a safe theater, watching a cosmic drama unfold at a comfortable distance. We are part of this stage, and the fire that consumed Polaris is not so far from our reach. And so, as the sky adjusts to the absence of its most familiar sentinel, Earth watches, waits, and wonders what comes next. The night no longer holds its ancient shape. Something has changed. Something vast, violent, and terrifying. And whatever it is, it's only just beginning. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Polaris exploding? Do you think it will affect Earth? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.